guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 8. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. If you want to see any of my Vlogmas videos, it'll be linked in the description and also at the end of this video. Today we're going to be talking about fashion icons and if this generation has any fashion icons. I think the last generation, the generation before us, and generations in the past have had fashion icons and I'm not sure if this generation does. I think we have a lot of people that are influencing like fashion so we don't really have like a main go-to person but I think we have some people that are standing out and causing big shifts in the fashion style realm. In one of my previous Vlogmas videos I mentioned that Bethany Moda was a big contributor into like the 2010s like YouTube fashion space. I feel like she was a very big YouTuber during that time. I feel like now this generation's like Bethany Moda is Emma Chamberlain. I feel like they're like quite complete opposites. Well I wouldn't say complete but quite different ends of the spectrum. Emma Chamberlain started on YouTube and she's gone into doing work in campaigns with high fashion brands and I feel like she is probably the closest equivalent that we have to Bethany, Bethany Moda during this time. I wouldn't say she's causing a huge shift in like fashion and people's like decision making for like their style but I feel like she is a contributing factor from her I believe she had a video where she went to Italy I think it was Italy and the outfits and the things that she was showing and wearing in the videos and Instagrams and whatever whatever a lot of people were like oh my god I need to be wearing this like Emma's wearing it so I have to wear it but I wouldn't say she is a complete fashion icon like I wouldn't say we know Emma Chamberlain for fashion at least not yet obviously she's hosted the red carpet for the Met Gala she's done campaigns with Louis Vuitton but I wouldn't say she's quite at the level of a fashion icon but she could be getting there pretty soon. Another influencer that could be on the way to being a fashion icon potentially is Addison Rae. Addison Rae just introduced like a new stylist into her team and I feel like this stylist has been the best stylist she's had so far. She had a look at the Max Mara like event a lot of people like that. Also the CFDA awards and there was another one that she was at. There was it was like the hooded jacket, the hooded dress, the denim skirt and brown top and the one with the very low plunge. I feel like we're seeing those looks and Addison could be on her way to being known for her looks. People may be anticipating what she's going to wear next on the carpet which I think is really interesting, especially from what we saw Addison Rae begin as. And I feel like, like every influencer, she had her cringy era and like now she's just more like calm from what I can tell. I don't really follow Addison, so I'm not really sure. But she's calm, she's kind of finding like a new realm she wants to dig into, so. Who knows, Addison could be our next fashion icon. The next girlie that I think could be a fashion icon is Zendaya. Now we know her stylist is Law Roach and Law does an amazing job with dressing her for the red carpets. And we all know the pink dress look, the spider, the, um, oh my gosh, there's so many, the pantsuits. Like we've seen all these great looks from Zendaya with the help of Law Roach. And I'm wondering, can she be a fashion icon if all we're really truly remembering is her red carpet looks? I feel like fashion icons, you see their red carpet looks, but you also see like their everyday outfits. And their everyday outfits are usually what people start to dress similar to. Like it's more relatable, more attainable for the everyday person. Similar to how like Princess Diana had like the crew neck, spiker shorts, and that's like really attainable for most people. I would like to think that Zendaya is a fashion icon. She's an actress, a model, a dancer. But I don't know if her fashion is attainable for her to have the influence of a fashion icon. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, like comment down below and I'll try to explain it better. The next person who I think at the current moment is the current fashion icon it girl, Isabel Hadid. 
Now, you've heard me in previous videos talk about how some of the trends that Bella Hadid has like started, popularized, I guess is a better term, popularized. I don't really like all of the trends, but I feel like she's very experimental with her fashion. A lot of her fashion can be easily replicated, especially with the help of like thrift stores, secondhand shopping. And I feel like her looks are like crazy enough, daring enough, not the norm, to where people are like, oh, Maybe I should try that out and see how it looks on me and like dress like that. So I feel like she is our closest thing to a fashion icon at the moment. Obviously, we're still young in Bella Hadid's career. So who knows? She could one day, I guess, just like hate fashion and like we never talk about her fashion again. But at this moment, I feel like she is the current fashion icon. I like a lot of her looks. A lot of her looks aren't necessarily my style, but I feel like she switches her style so much that it's almost hard for people to keep up because they feel like, oh, I gotta dress like Bella to keep up and look style, like fashionable. But I feel like that's also just the natural cycle of the fashion industry, fashion world. So that was my opinion on four people that I think are could be potentially fashion icons. Obviously, there's so many more people. If you think of someone else, comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think. Do you think Bella Hadid is the fashion icon of this generation? Again, if you want to see the rest of my Vlogmas videos, it'll be linked here.